Welcome back, Red here, and this is a little bonus um, update video. Uh, I figured I'd put this out right now. Uh, this is kind of in between 8 and 9. 9 will probably come out the same time this comes out. This will come out probably before 9 does, but that's here nor there. So it's going to be a short, quick video. Uh, what's going on is the reason why I did that is because the mod pack has been updated to 1.13 or 1.0.1.3. And so some mods have been removed and some mods have been added and replaced. I figured I'd go through this and let you know what's going on. And the Crest book had to be reset. I'm not really, 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 really too worried about that. Um, I could cheat in the stuff again. But again, like I said, I'm really not too worried about it. Quest mode is enabled. It. Okay. So I have to do slash HQM HQM and then quest and now it's been activated and then this hello. product hello is this yes skittles let's see the flash no 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 thank you so what happened was all the uh, quests have been reset for me all the reputation has been reset but that's completely okay i'm not too worried about it i can go through this and do it quick as chips because really most of the stuff i unlocked anyways i built on my own while i was working so let's get into the mods that have been removed and then and have been changed. Okay, um, industrial craft has been completely removed. Uh, the reason why the mod author wanted it removed is he did do a poll. So if you want to help work on this mod pack and you want to give your input if you're playing it, go to the Feed a Beast uh, website and look up the Ferret business. And uh, <coughs> excuse me, I believe everything will be posted there. What does it with me? And every time I want to do recordings, I freaking have to cough. Anyways. Uh, it got removed because it is really antiquated, and I agree with them. I've been playing mods since 4.7 or 4.3. I think there's been mods before. Th I know there's been mods before that because that's how we had pistons in the game. So, anyways, that was um, that mod pack has been around forever. It hasn't really changed. It's just updated with time. Uh, it hasn't removed much. I made sure that. Um, let me go over to uh, my headquarters, and we'll take a look at. Um, what I did. I had to make sure that the one thing I kind of going to miss is the bank stuff. However, I did learn that in um, modular turrets, um, there is a wall that acts like the industrial wall, and it's much cheaper to make. Um, ignore the differences in between videos. Like I said, this is a, 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 like a snapshot type thing. So you won't, you'll see it then and there. And I'll talk about the new differences in episode 10. The uh, safe got removed. A reason why I like the safe over the carpenter's block safe, where I moved everything to, is it's bigger than the carpenter's block safe. However, the carpenter's, excuse me, however, the carpenter's block safe is good because I can also make it look like the um, bank. So that was been removed, and I completely don't have no problems with it. I wasn't really using anything in industrial craft other than the safe. So, and then probably the explosives later on. Um, you can also get the information here, but I'll give you the information anyways. This is only if you're playing the game. Uh, progressive automation has been removed. I don't blame him on progressive automation. Progressive automation is a basic mod, like a, a baby's how-to first mod. It gives you all like the building, like tree cutters and mob grinders and flatteners and things like that. But the really, 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 really are crappy. They're cool, they can be upgraded, but the ones that are implemented in the other mod packs, the other tree cutters and things of that nature, and most mod pack creators put like five or six different types of mods that do like the same thing that each other mod does. Like a tree cutter. There's a tree cutter in Steve's Karch. What's in here? There's a tree cutter in... Um, I just hope I just didn't open up my internet. I probably did. Um, there's a tree cutter in Tinkers, I believe. Or not Tinkers, but um, Factory. And there is technically, I think, one in Thomcraft as well. So... They put them in there to make sure that everybody's got a style. You know, usually someone likes a mod pack over another one. But the progressive automation was just complete shit, in my opinion. The reason why I don't like it is, yes, it can be upgraded and you can extend it. But the mo in Mine Factory Reloaded... Let's see, Mine Fact... In Mine Factory Reloaded Tree Cutter, which is right... Oh, that's a block breaker. It, it, uh, harvester... I think it's a Harvester. does the same thing. But it harvests plants. But anyways, like the harvester, 
it's easy once you make this block and then you make where is it the hammer this precision sledgehammer you could see where the areas of effect is going to be when you're holding this in precision you can't you can also upgrade it with these upgrade tabs and they're much easier to do and they're also much bigger in radius in progressive Auto animation the way they upgraded was um do I have a block on me no i don't this will work um oh there's some also new stuff in there too that's something totally different i don't know what that is right now it's one of the newer mods we'll get into that too is the upgrade chip would work in a circumference like this so ooh, ooh, it would spin out faster and it you know it does a pinwheel effect outwards instead of just you know harvesting 30 blocks out and 30 blocks over so if you have like 30 it's only going to do 30 in a circle around the object instead of actually being 30 by 30 if you know what that means is there'll be 30 blocks in one direction vertically and 30 blocks in horizontally so that's gone don't worry really 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 worry about it armor's workbot workshop has been removed i didn't use it i don't really know what it did i know you can customize some stuff there was like the stand that kind of looked cool but other than that I'm not going to miss it. I wasn't into it. I would just probably set it up in my house as decoration. <clears throat> Next was Project Zulu. Project Zulu added the animals, but it was also heavy intensive, and he also said that it was working. He already had to remove at least five, four to five different creatures because it would crash the game. So the birds and stuff like that you saw earlier in my videos technically were removed, and I'll, I'll, understand, I'll explain why I say technically. Um, after that, I kind of really don't miss it because the damn bats were driving up the wall and some of the items weren't really worth keeping. Uh, probably have like an empty box over here somewhere. Or it's filled with like a dev nutting thing. I don't think I have that. Anyways, or it might have been in here somewhere. That's been removed, which is completely fine. Uh, I have a snapshot on my phone. Uh, Solar Flux has been replaced with Solar Expansion. Solar Flux was a add-on to IC2, which gave you helmets that would recharge your things in different style of making uh, solar panels. So it's been replaced with something better, so I was not really worried about that. Now let's get into the gravy stuff. Uh, the, the new mods. Uh, he added Matter Overdrive, um, something I really don't know too much about. However, it's kind of like a spacey type thing. And um, also adds new fuel source to the big reactors or improves the big reactors. So let's do matter overdrive. There we go. So this is matter overdrive. It adds like titanium chest plates. Well, it looks like a new block, maybe. Um, yep, new blocks, um, new, new components and things of that nature. There's a few um, rogue android spawners. Which we don't have to worry about. It looks like they add robots to this. Oh, there might be some new creatures running around. Um, looks like it. Some like a phaser it's from Star Trek, and a phaser rifle also from Star Trek. It looks like this person who made this was a Star Trek fan. All right. Then we have Avartia. I'm probably not spelling saying it correctly, but I'll spell it as A V A R I T I A. And uh, we'll take a look at that. I really don't know what that does. Um, A V A R I T A. Uh, that might be. Oh, it's uh, A V A R I T I A. Okay, so it looks like it's kind of a um, building thing. I also got implemented. Um, supply systems have been re uh, updated as well, or renewed and updated. So that's kind of cool. That might be what this is partially for. I will also get into that myself when we worry about that again. Like I said, I could ch cheat their stuff in, but I wasn't that far in, and I'm really not that worried. I had like five points to everything to just get back again, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, and it's also too much trouble to for, like cheat it in, so it's not like console command. It's console command plus extra stuff. It's not worth it for me. Um, next has been uh, Gilmar Gala. I guess at one time there was werewolves in this game, but it caused issues, and he didn't like how it was not, uh, Kagan did not like how tough it was at night. So there's gonna be those creatures in here. Uh, I guess they're werewolves. Let's take a look and see. G R I M 
O R I R E. So Grimmer of Gala looks like it adds a lot of things, uh, a lot of creatures, and a lot of items. So that's kind of cool, kind of like a magical type thing. Interesting, interesting. I'll have some fun with that, and hopefully a lot of these are implemented so there will be a lot of creepy creatures running around. Uh, to replace the loss of wolves and things of that nature, uh, he's implemented another mod called Doggy Style. So there will be actually dogs running around out here that I can tame. I actually have two wolves up there. So, yeah. Um, if you guys want, and you guys are viewers, leave a comment down below. And uh, something witty, something silly. And I'll name one of the dogs after you. And then I'll name one after bleh, anyone else if I collect one. Um, so... Yep. Next one is Exotic Birds. That's where the birds will come in. Hopefully, I'm hoping that the new Exotic Birds mod actually does animation to the wings. Um, some of the birds actually had animation in um, Project Zulu, but most of them didn't. And um, they kind of just like floated around, not moving their arms, which is really unrealistic. But this is also Minecraft, so it's not really that realistic. Anyways, but it kind of deterred for me personally. So there's new birds around. I probably lost a lot of morphs which I really don't care because they didn't affect anything. I just used the bat and the blaze really for flight until I get a, a decent jetpack. Um, next up is Catbox 2. I'm actually excited about that. The reason why I say that, I'm not going to walk in there right now, but I have been building a factory, as you can see, right here. I'd like to have catwalks in my factory. And with, um, not product, what is it, uh, immersive engineering, <whistles> there's some big-ass generator stuff that I can do, <laughs> uh, machines that I can put in there, and those, the, um, uh, the, um, catwalks will come in handy for me. Um, I can't wait to actually play around with those. And, uh, you guys getting a bit of spoilers. This is a timey wimey thing. And key, uh, copyright, uh, Doctor Who music and TARDIS. Anyways, just ignore that. Uh, next one is... And last is the return of Bernie's Mods. Bernie's Mods, I believe, added the new bees and stuff like that. So it, it updated the bees. So I believe it's bee stuff. Uh, like apiary. Yep. So the extra bee stuff has come back because it was updated by Bernie's Mods, which is completely cool. So a lot of new things have been up implemented for the bees. The water, bee, water hives will return. Sadly enough, being that this is a, a generated world already, I'm going to have to go in these areas, these completely dark areas, to find new items, which is okay. I've been kind of sticking close lately, but I've been really needing to get clay for the um, factory. And so I've just really been going in these little small areas here, but I'm going to expand out. I'm thinking probably going this way here, up towards this desert here. And uh, I want to find some nice desert that's not really too close by because I'm going to end up turning it into a grassland because I'm going to mine it out with a ender uh, quarry. So that's another reason why I built this thing. And that's it. Um, like I said, this is just a quick update mod. Ignore everything you see. This will be in, in 10. So I will record that after I get the last video out. Probably one came out today. I'm recording this on Wednesday. Uh, Eight came out. Nine will probably come out on Friday because I'm trying to get these out Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I've been having issues lately because I've been helping some friends with other things, like setting up a server for them, which may show up on my channel. It may not. I'm kind of tired of vanilla Minecraft, but I might just hang out with them. And if they decide to record, I'll be in their videos, but I probably won't put anything up on my channel for that. I caught some horses, but that's just here nor there. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Take it easy, bye bye, and remember to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. I know there's an end title card for this. Again, timey wimey woo. Bye!